Good afternoon, colleagues. Good afternoon, Professor. Um, I would like to start my presentation with the five critical theories that, theories, sorry, that I consider are the most important um, in the process of the teaching learning. Uh, so I have the affective filter hypothesis, classroom ecology, scaffolding, social affective strategies, and group configuration. Uh, I want to emphasize in the group configuration um, because I consider that this is the most important for the students because uh, this um, theory uh, allows us to uh, interact, to make interaction with all the students. It permits that all the students um, interact with all the students in different kind of group uh, groups. First, they can um, uh, they can work individually, then they share their opinions with the whole class, they make, um, can work in pairs, then those pairs join with another pairs to form small groups, and finally they uh, work individually, again, but um, sharing what they finally learned throughout the, the lesson. Um, I want to develop um, the strategy of the vocabulary quilt. Uh, this uh, class is uh, performed in the A grade, but just with uh, 15 students because he, these, uh, those students are in a rural school. So there are just 15 students. And the phase that I want to develop is the, the first, is, uh, the first phase is the activation. So let's start. Um, good afternoon, students. Good How are you today? Fine. Oh, excellent, excellent, because today we are going to start studying a new topic. The title of the new topic, sorry, I forgot to write on prepositions of place. To develop this, uh, this class, we have some objectives that we are going to develop throughout the whole lesson. So the content objective is recognize the most basic prepositions of place and to use them appropriately. So uh, that's the, the main objective. We have another objective for each skill. Uh, I would like that you help me to listen each one. So please, um, Patricia, could you read the first one? Yes. Yeah, students will listen to teacher's instructions as a whole class. Mm -hmm. They will listen to their partners when they share their opinions about the topic. Thank you. Uh, Viviana, please, the second one. In pairs and groups, the students will discuss predictions. In groups, the students will interchange their sentences mm -hmm. to negotiate the meaning. Thank you. Uh, Lorena, please, the third one. Uh, speaking, reading. Reading in small groups, the students will do this of reading and paragraph to identify the preposition of place. Okay, and the last one, Martita. Okay. The students will write some prediction and will draw some pictures on the vocabulary quiz. Okay, the strategy that we are going to develop in this class, as I said, is the vocabulary quilt. So I'm going to give you the templates of the vocabulary quilt. Mm -hmm. Please choose a pencil, pen. Please accept the color that I want to give you. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How we are going to use this uh, this template is very easy. Here you have how many words? A ver, let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight words. How many bugs do you have in this in your template? Eight. So you are going to write first listen, please. You are going to write each word on each box, but before we are going to to read each word, okay? Repeat after me. Behind, Behind. in front of, in front of. Above. above, between, between. in, in. Near. near, under, under. on. Um. You have one minute to write each word on each box. Go ahead. <laughs> No matter the order. Okay, okay almost done? Yes. yes. Beautiful students. Okay. Now you are going to find you're another classmate who has the same color of your sheet of paper. One minute more. It's quickly, please. Oh. Maybe there is a um, there is a group of three. Okay. Don't confuse the colors, please. Some uh, they are similar but not equal. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Lorenita? My, my another partner is. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. After you are going to tell for us, okay? okay? Yeah. The next step you are going to write with your, your partners, you are going to write, uh, write or draw what maybe is the meaning of each word that you have in each box. It's no matter if you are going to draw or you are going to, to write. Five minutes to do that. You have any question about the topic, please feel free to ask me. Yeah. Behind. Mm -hmm. About. Beautiful. Have a, we have the dream. dream. Okay. Almost done. Okay, now you are going to pay attention, please. Thank you. Listen, please. You are going to you are going to share with all us which were your predictions about the words. Okay. Remember, you are in pairs now. Okay. Um, let's start. Marlon and Paola, are you work together? Yeah. Working together? Okay. So, Marlon, which are your predictions? Uh, with behind. the first words. Behind. I don't know if you have behind, maybe another uh, person has. All you have the same order uh, like in this, uh, the board? Yes. Okay. So behind. I the word behind, and I put back, and also I drew a backpack because the backpack is behind me. Okay, thank you. Paulita. Same thing. I have behind the first box, and I got a um, picture like someone is. Hmm. Beautiful pictures. Okay. Here, uh, Freddy. For the next word, what word do you have? A tree. What word do you have? Uh, behind. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. In front of. 
Sorry, Don't worry, don't worry. I like you readers. Okay, tell me, what is your, um, your prediction? My prediction is, for example, is something that is in front face to face to another thing. Good, thank you. Um, Ruben, please, the another word. Okay, so I, I, I draw a table and something under the table. Uh, the, so the word, the word is? Under. Under, okay, thank you. Uh, now you are going to work in groups. So you are in pairs, pairs, three, okay, here, pairs. Mm. Sorry, you are going to work just with three people, okay? It's okay? Now, you are going to, <coughs> you are going to compare your, your predictions and look at if you have, um, we had a, a handsome apricot. Do you know how, what is the name of this? Um? Leprechaun. Oh, Leprechaun, yeah, thank you. So, where is, the, in the first picture, where is the Leprechaun? Behind. It's behind. So now you can compete if you have the same meaning or not, okay? If you have some mistakes, some error, you can uh, correct them, okay? So for tomorrow, that's all for today because we don't have more time. But tomorrow, we are going to continue with this. I want to give you a chart and then we are going to do uh, an exposition about this, this topic, okay? Thank you so much. So now, um, I would like, as I said, emphasize in the grouping configuration because it's important that all the students um, are involved in the class. Uh, it's very important uh, as a teacher, be careful that the students um, avoid to be bored or maybe they, they could hate them, the subject English because for all of them, our subject is um, they consider that it's bored. So I think that the strategy that I learned here in, during this, um, this uh, capacitation are going to he um, help, helpful for me because the, um, they are going to maintain to the students busy and they are going to, to help me to uh, plan my, my classes. So I, I would like to thank to the Professor Doretta too because you uh, share, shared with, with us your experience, and most of them are similar to the experience that we have in, in our country. Thank you. <laughs>